Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, let's talk about a topic that's been on my mind lately, and I'm sure it has crossed yours too. Have you ever wondered why North Korea seems to be this unstoppable force in pursuing its ambitions? It's a question that sparks curiosity and concern in equal measure. This provocative question sets the stage for our exploration of North Korea's nuclear ambitions and resilience. In the year 2022, North Korea conducted a series of record-breaking missile tests, raising eyebrows around the globe. North Korea launched a Hwasong-15 missile on February 18, 2023, in a surprise drill to test its readiness for a counter-attack. The missile was launched from an area near Pyongyang and travelled in a high trajectory for about 65 minutes, reaching a top altitude of 5,760 kilometres. Despite the pressures and sanctions imposed since 2006, North Korea's nuclear programme appears to be unstoppable. We've seen headlines, heard about missile tests and felt the geopolitical tensions but what's really driving North Korea's seemingly relentless pursuit of its goals? That's what we're unpacking today. It's a complex puzzle, and together let's explore the various factors that make North Korea's ambitions appear, well, unstoppable. But to comprehend the current situation, we must journey back to the inception of North Korea's nuclear program. The genesis of North Korea's nuclear ambitions can be traced back to the late 1950s, when the Soviet Union, under the Atoms for Peace program, began to train North Korean scientists and engineers, providing the initial spark for their nuclear aspirations. The program was officially launched in 1962 with the primary goal of harnessing atomic energy for peaceful purposes. However, by the late 1970s, there were suspicions that North Korea was veering off its peaceful trajectory. The construction of the Yongbyon Nuclear Research Center, a key facility in North Korea's nuclear program, raised eyebrows internationally due to its potential for weapons-grade plutonium production. The 80s saw North Korea stepping up its game with the construction of a 5-megawatt nuclear reactor at Yongbyon. International concern grew, but North Korea remained an enigma shrouded in secrecy. The 90s marked a dramatic shift. In 1993, North Korea announced its withdrawal from the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. A bold move that sent shockwaves through the international community. It was a clear signal that North Korea was no longer content with just harnessing atomic energy for peaceful purposes, but had grander and more ominous ambitions. The new millennium ushered in a period of intense negotiations and broken promises, with North Korea continuing to advance its nuclear program, often in defiance of international sanctions and diplomatic pressure. This historical context sets the foundation for understanding North Korea's present nuclear ambitions. So, despite international sanctions and pressures, North Korea's nuclear program not only survives, but thrives. But how? Well, let's begin by considering North Korea's allies. Despite the international isolation, North Korea has managed to maintain some key relationships. China, for instance, plays a significant role in this saga. As North Korea's biggest trade partner and ally, China provides a lifeline that helps the nation weather the economic storms. It's a delicate balance for China, caught between its obligation to implement UN sanctions and its desire to prevent a North Korean collapse. But it's not just about external support. North Korea's resilience is also about its steely determination and resourcefulness. Whether it's navigating economic sanctions or leveraging cybercrime for financial gain, as alleged in recent years, North Korea has shown a remarkable ability to adapt and endure. It's a nation that has endured famine, economic hardship and international isolation, yet it continues to march forward with its nuclear ambitions. Another factor worth considering is, is the strategic value of North Korea's nuclear program. For Pyongyang, nuclear weapons are not just about power projection, but also about ensuring regime survival. The nuclear program is seen as a deterrent against external threats and a bargaining chip in international diplomacy. Moreover, we can't overlook the role of national pride and propaganda in North Korea. The state-controlled media often portrays the nuclear program as a symbol of national strength and resilience, 
fostering a sense of patriotic pride among its citizens. This in turn helps to cushion the regime against internal dissent and maintain its grip on power. So, what we see is a complex interplay of factors that contribute to North Korea's resistance to international pressure. It's a combination of external support, internal determination, strategic considerations and nationalistic fervor that keeps the North Korean nuclear train chugging along despite the many obstacles on its track. Clearly the North Korean nuclear conundrum is not a simple one to solve. Intervention seems like a plausible solution, right? Yet it might not be as straightforward as we imagine. Just picture the aftermath of a US attack on North Korea. It's not a simple clean operation. Instead, it's a tangled web of potential backlash and devastating consequences. North Korea's missile program has been developed with the explicit purpose of deterring foreign intervention. Any direct attack could trigger a response, potentially reaching as far as the US mainland. Now, add China into the mix. As North Korea's ally and neighbor, China has been a key player in supporting the isolated nation. Beijing's involvement complicates matters further. An unstable North Korea could result in an influx of refugees into China, a scenario Beijing would prefer to avoid. This means China has a vested interest in maintaining North Korea's stability, even if it means propping up a regime with a questionable human rights record and nuclear ambitions. Moreover, the collapse of North Korea could lead to chaos on an unimaginable scale. We're not just talking about political upheaval, but a humanitarian crisis, with millions of North Koreans suddenly facing an uncertain future. Looking back at history, interventions haven't always yielded the desired results. Think about Iraq, Libya or Afghanistan. Despite well-intentioned interventions, these nations have been plagued with instability, civil unrest, and in some cases the rise of extremist groups. This isn't to say that intervention is always the wrong approach, but it underscores the need for careful consideration of all potential outcomes. The North Korean issue isn't a simple puzzle to be solved. It's an intricate, three-dimensional chess game with numerous players, each with their own interests and strategies. Any move can have a ripple effect, impacting not just the Korean peninsula, but the entire region and potentially the world. This makes the stakes incredibly high and the solution far from simple. So here is a question. For over 70 years, the North Korean issue has remained unsolved. Why? It's a question that has puzzled many, including me. The answer is complex and multifaceted, just like the issue itself. North Korea, a country of approximately 25 million people, has managed to withstand international pressure and sanctions, largely due to its strategic considerations and nuclear ambitions. Its geographical location, sandwiched between global powerhouses China and South Korea, has made it a strategic chess piece in the grand game of global politics. Interestingly, North Korea's demographics also play a significant role in its resilience. The country's population is largely homogeneous, bound by a shared culture, language and history. This homogeneity has fostered a unique form of nationalism, which has been harnessed by the regime to unify its people against perceived external threats. Further complicating the puzzle is North Korea's pursuit of nuclear weapons. From a strategic standpoint, these weapons serve as a deterrent against potential threats and interventions. They also serve as a bargaining chip, giving North Korea a seat at the negotiation table, despite its relatively small size and economy. Moreover, the country's nuclear program is deeply woven into its national identity and narrative of self-reliance. This narrative, propagated by the regime, has been instrumental in rallying the populace, further bolstering the nation's resilience in the face of international pressure. Lastly, we cannot overlook the role of China. China's support for North Korea, driven by its strategic interests, has been a lifeline for the regime, enabling it to withstand economic sanctions and maintain its nuclear program. As we wrap up, it's clear that the North Korean puzzle is far from being solved. The country's geographical location, demographics, nuclear ambitions and the support from China all contribute to the complexity of the issue. Understanding this puzzle requires a nuanced and multifaceted approach, one that takes into account these various factors. In our journey through the labyrinth of North Korea's nuclear program, the complexity of intervention has been laid bare it's not just about denuclearization, 
but about avoiding chaos and instability. And yet, after more than 70 years, the North Korean issue persists, a testament to its complexity and the high stakes involved. All right, if you find this discussion intriguing, hit the like button, share your thoughts, and subscribe for more deep dives into complex issues.